temperatures are dropping and that can only mean one thing. It is time to pull out your crock pot and dust it off. In today's video, I am bringing you seven of my family's go-to crock pot meals. We have made this taco soup more times than I can count, and every single time it is so delicious. We are just going to start with one pound of ground beef. For our seasonings, we are going to be adding in ranch seasoning, taco seasoning, garlic, and onion powder with just a little bit of water just to mix everything together. Mix our ground beef to the crock pot. For our canned items, we are going to be using one can of beef broth, hot rotel, chili kidney beans, corn, and black beans. We are just going to drain those. I am using Serrano's this time around because Sheldon had some leftover from his salsa. And then I'm going to be using about a fourth cup of cilantro. So just add everything into your crock pot and then add in a little bit of salt, pepper, and the rest of the seasonings that we used earlier and give this a good stir. I cooked mine on high for two hours. You're just wanting to let your peppers get softened and everything to be well combined. But this is so good. You definitely have to try this one out. To the bottom of our crock pot, we are going to be adding in some Italian meatballs, covering this with your favorite enchilada sauce, and then just finish this off with a can of hot rotel. I didn't feel like the hot gave it a lot of spice, but it just gave it a very subtle heat. So we are just going to cover this and cook on low for three to four hours. And then I topped mine with some Monterey Jack cheese. And then we are going to cover it again and just let it sit for about five minutes just until that cheese is nice and melted. If you're going to use this as an appetizer, you could just definitely put some toothpicks in it and put it on a plate and serve it up. This pesto chicken is a newer one to us. And oh man, is it so good. We're going to start by cutting half of a lemon and slicing two chicken breasts in half. This was a good amount for Sheldon and I, but if you have a bigger family, definitely add some more chicken. I just cut this in half just so it could cook evenly. For our seasonings, I'm going in with lemon pepper, Italian seasoning, and salt. I'm not going to add any more pepper since I used the lemon pepper this time and just squeeze in the juice of one lemon. Now last time I made this I did use cold pesto and it did not smooth out so I'm definitely making sure to use warm pesto this time. Then we are going to go in with about three tablespoons of butter. We are going to cook this on low for five to six hours and once your chicken is done cooking we're just going to shred it with two forks and pour over one box of your favorite cooked pasta and sprinkle in some parmesan and mozzarella and we are just going to cook this for an additional 15 minutes pesto and lemon is just perfect together it is so cheesy it is definitely a crowd favorite around here so i'm actually not a big frito pie person but this recipe was so good i'm going to be using two of these bush's best chili magic to the bottom of our crock pot we're going to add in a layer of fritos and i know you're going to say "Ooh, they're going to get soggy which yeah they kind of do they almost disappear but it's good like I don't understand. It was still really good. So on top of our layer of Fritos, I'm adding in the two cans of chili. I'm going to be leaving in the sauce because the recipe didn't specify not to. For our onions, I'm going to use about a fourth cup or so. You could definitely add more if you would like. They do not get soft, so if you don't like crunchy onion, don't add more. And then a layer of cheese. I'm going to be using the Mexi cheese. All my sour cream haters, I am one too, but this recipe with the sour cream was not bad at all. It just gave it a little subtle hit of the sour cream and I actually really enjoyed it surprisingly so just try as best as you can to kind of smooth this down I know it's going to be hard with the cheese I probably should have done the sour cream and then the cheese layer but it is fine I'm added a little bit more cheese on top of this and then we are going to cook this on high for two and a half hours you could definitely cook it longer if you would like to but I felt two and a half hours for us was perfectly fine this is so cheesy and really, really delicious. It made enough for Sheldon and I to have one serving, and then I had that other right-hand side for leftovers for the next day. So I would say probably four servings or so with this. So delicious. Let me know if you try this one out. This hamburger pasta gave me all the vibes of a hamburger helper, but elevated. We're going to cook down one pound of hamburger meat. You could definitely substitute this for breakfast sausage or even the hot Italian sausage. I feel like that would give it a nice kick. Add this to your crock pot, and then we are going to follow this up by two and a half cups of beef broth. For our canned items, I have two cans of diced tomatoes and then add in one fourth cup of onions and two minced garlics. 
This would also be good with maybe some diced carrots. I feel like that would elevate it just a little bit more and get your veggie count in. So just pour in your favorite can of marinara sauce and we are just going to give this a good stir so nothing is stuck to the bottom. For our seasonings, I have crushed red pepper, Italian seasoning, garlic salt, and pepper and salt just to taste. So just stir this and we are going to cook this on low for 7 hours. With 30 minutes left, we are going to add in one box of pasta. I'm using the penne pasta, but you could use whatever pasta you would like. We're going to cook this for at least 30 minutes. That was the time that they cooked for me, and it was perfect. My house smelled so good. This was so flavorful. I just topped mine with some mozzarella, and I had enough for leftovers. This Cajun sausage and potatoes was so flavorful. For my sausage, I'm using one link of the jalapeno sausage. I picked this up at Kroger. Somebody please tell me why I decided to use the smallest knife possible to cut this. I'm not exactly sure, but next we are going to cut up three potatoes you could definitely add some more if you're going to double this batch then do six and do two links of jalapeno sausage but this was perfect because it was just Sheldon and I eating this so we are going to add our sausage and potatoes to the crock pot then add in half of an onion this is going to cook down with one can of chicken broth followed by one can of hot rotel you could definitely just use the mild rotel if you don't want it to be too spicy because we are going to be adding in a decent amount of Tony's so for the seasonings, I have Italian seasoning, garlic powder, ranch seasoning, and the Tony's Bold seasoning. If you haven't tried out the Tony's Bold seasoning, you have to. You're just going to cover this and cook on low for 6 to 8 hours or high for 3 to 4 hours. Into a warm skillet, add in some olive oil followed by a half cup of onions. Follow your onions by 1 pound of ground beef and 1 hot breakfast sausage. To the bottom layer of our crock pot, I am going to add in a layer of of tater tots followed by a layer of the meat mixture one can of hot rotel you could just use regular diced tomatoes or the medium rotel and then finishing with one can of rinse and drain black beans and rinse and drain corn we are going to cover this and cook on low for two and a half hours once it is done cooking, I'm going to go in with a layer of cheese and I cook this for an additional 30 minutes. If you've enjoyed any of these crock pot recipes, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I will catch you guys next time.